Catholic School. God bless all of you on behalf of Father Matthew and Father Joe and all of us here at the church. We want to thank uh, all of the school parents and the teachers and the, um, all of the um, uh, staff of the school for a wonderful year and the children. So God bless all of you. No matter how small we are, we are important. Today in the readings we hear about how God uh, starts with small things. Uh, that it's like the mustard seed, the smallest little seed uh, can grow, and we hope that we continue to grow. Let's ask God's mercy and forgiveness for our sins so that we can worthily celebrate these sacred mysteries. Lord, you're sent to heal the contrite. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. <clears throat> you came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that we who have celebrated the Paschal festivities <clears throat> may by your gift hold fast to them, in a way that we, in the way that we live our lives, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. I will tell all the kind deeds that the Lord has done, because they deserve praise. The Lord has shown mercy to the people of Israel. He has been loving and kind. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. From dawn <clears throat> until sunset, the name of the Lord deserves to be praised. The Lord is far above all of the nations. He is more glorious than the heavens. Blessed, Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. No one can compare with the Lord our God. His throne is high above, and he looks down to see the heavens and the earth. Blessed be the name of the Lord forever. Alleluia. Alleluia. Come and listen, and I will tell what great things God has done for me. 
Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus told the people this story. The kingdom of heaven is like what happened when a farmer plants a mustard seed in a field. Although it is the smallest of all seeds, it grows larger than any garden plant and becomes a tree. Birds even come and nest on its branches. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I want to tell you a story about what happened once when I was little. When I was a little boy, I was in class right here in the same rooms as you guys at, well, when you were going to classes here in the classrooms, I was in class learning about my religion and the catechism teacher, I remember she walked up and down the front and she said nothing. She didn't say anything. She was walking back and forth just, and she said, what did I do? What did I just do? Do you know what I just did? And we said, no, we don't. Well, I was with every, she said, with every step, I was saying, Jesus, mercy, Jesus, mercy, Jesus, mercy. It was one of the sisters who used to be here. And so she taught us that no matter where you are, no matter where you're walking, even without talking, even without moving your lips, with every step you can pray, you can say, Jesus, have mercy. Give us your love. And, uh, and so wherever you are, you can do that. Now is the end of school, and so now uh, during summer vacation, we can remember that wherever you are, no matter what, Jesus is right there. And you can talk to him without moving your lips, without being loud. Just in your mind, you can say, Jesus, mercy. In today's first reading, we heard about that, that God is mercy. He has been loving and kind. The Lord has shown mercy. So we know that no matter, even if we've been really bad, God loves us and he loves to forgive us so that we feel better. Also in the reading today, the gospel reading, we heard about how God loves little things. God uh, says that he likes little things and that the little things grow and become something great, like that little mustard seed, that little seed that's the smallest seed, but it grows and becomes a tree that even the birds build their nests in it. So little things can grow and become great. And uh, this is because God likes little things. You know, sometimes big things are scary. I want to tell you about something else when I was little. When I was a little boy, I remember watching a, maybe I wasn't so little because the movie's not that old, Jurassic Park, when I was a little adult, I guess. I uh, was very scared by that movie, I guess, because I had a nightmare. I dreamt about a big dinosaur, and it was so scary because uh, in my dream, I had a dream that the, that the dinosaur was so big that, and I was in my house by myself. That's always scary when you're home alone. I was in the house by myself, and I would run from one room to the other because the dinosaur was taking big bites out of the house. And so then I'd run to the other corner and then, oh, and here he comes, and then I run to the other corner and the dinosaur, and then I guess I woke up because he didn't get me. He, good, it's a good thing I wasn't in the room that got bit. So 
stuff. But yeah, big things are scary. And you know, God doesn't want us to be afraid. God wants us to, to know that he is love and mercy. But God is big. God is so big. God made everything. The stars and the planets and the mountains and the ocean. God made everything. God is so big. But, you know, just so that we love him, he made us small, but he also becomes small. You know, God becomes very little. We know what happened at Christmas. We celebrated that God became a little baby, a squishy little baby in, in the manger. God became small. And nobody's afraid of a little baby, right? And now we have mass, and, you know, God also becomes little on the altar. He becomes a little bit of bread and a little bit of wine. And so uh, God becomes very small. And nobody's afraid of a little bit of bread, a little piece of bread. Nobody's a, but it's God, right? And so that's the wonderful thing about a Catholic school is that we give you something small, which is really God. It's the biggest thing ever, right? And so we are uh, so lucky that we're going to give you eventually we haven't had First Communions yet this uh, year, but um, all of you uh, have a chance to prepare to receive communion uh, and to get this great gift of God who becomes small and gives himself to us because he loves us and he wants to give us his mercy. Now we're going to stand up and offer our prayers. Loving Father, hear the prayers of your children which we offer in the name of Jesus for ourselves and for our world. For the Holy Catholic Church, for Francis our Pope, Myron our Bishop, and our priests who visited our school and students during the year, that they will continue to be blessed and praised for their faithful service. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. prayers. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, diaconate, and consecrated life in our diocese, we pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For the leaders of the world, that they will work together to promote peace and justice, especially during these uncertain times, we pray to the Lord. Lord, for teachers, staff, parents, and family members who have sacrificed greatly for us to grow and develop through a Catholic education, that they will be blessed abundantly. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our for the students of our school community, that they will continue <clears throat> to open their hearts to God to receive the guidance they need to make good choices as they grow. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our For the people who are suffering around the world and in our very own community, that they will have the strength to persevere and that they will know God's healing power and saving grace. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially from COVID-19, that they will experience peace in the kingdom of heaven. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving Father, hear these prayers which we now place upon the altar of Jesus, our brother, who died for us, but rose again and lives forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and become for us the bread of life. Amen. 
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. <clears throat> Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good of all his holy church. Look mercifully, O Lord, we pray, upon the sacrificial gifts of your people, that they may become acceptable to you. Let the coming of the Holy Spirit cleanse our consciences through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. <clears throat> and lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For after his resurrection, he plainly appeared to all his disciples and was taken up to heaven in their sight, that he might make us sharers in his divinity. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts Sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church. <clears throat> Grant
Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis our Pope and Myron our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. But with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Lord is now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will. We live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always, and with your spirit. Lamb of God, who would take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who would take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, who would take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy to take under my roof, but I only say the word, and my soul shall be there.
Let us pray. <clears throat> o God, by whose mysteries we are cleansed and nourished, grant, we pray, that this banquet which you give us may bring everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. This is a very special place for me and for all of us, especially the children. It's the place where we receive Jesus, who is God, become very small to show us his love and his mercy. And um, so we look forward to you coming back next year. And God bless all of the children. Now we're going to have the award ceremony. And uh, so uh, Mrs. Amen is going to uh, lead us in that little um, ceremony of recognizing those students, children who have done uh, wonderful um, things in their learning during the past months. So God bless all of you, and we miss you, and we look forward, Father Matthew, Father Joe, uh, and all of us to seeing you again uh, soon. God bless you, and have a wonderful summer. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. <laughs>
everyone, whether it be on the playground or in class. Keep that positive attitude and that infectious smile, Yugi, and you will go far. Good morning. For A, active participants in exploring the world of learning, from second grade, Kendall Felix Moon. Kendall consistently comes to class with a smile on her face, a positive attitude, and a readiness to learn. Her excitement for knowledge is displayed by her willingness to volunteer in class discussions and participate in projects. As a student, Kendall is someone a teacher continuously can count on to complete assignments thoroughly and on time. Kendall is an exemplary student. Also from second grade, Juliana Aguilera. Juliana has made tremendous strides and has shown great effort in second grade. She tries her hardest to stay on task and is not afraid to ask questions when needing help. Juliana's increasing efforts are shown on a daily basis in class. Her newfound determination and willingness to learn is commendable. Juliana, we are very proud of you. And from sixth grade, Miles Thompson. Miles has shown such amazing improvement this year in his academic skills. He works hard at every task given to him and is not afraid to ask for help when he feels he needs it. Even during distance learning, when it would be easy to get distracted or slack off, Miles worked tirelessly to stay on top of his work and to make sure that everything was done correctly and on time. Keep up the amazing work, Miles. The third letter in faith is I. I is for inspired individuals who strive to do their personal best and share their creative talents. From second grade, John Tran. John is one of the first students to consistently quiet himself and give all of his attention to the teacher or task at hand. He respectfully strives to do what is right and to follow the classroom rules. His self-control makes him a dependable role model for fellow classmates. John's earnest efforts to always do his best in the classroom make him a joy to have in second grade and at our school. Also from second grade, Peyton Kreiner. Peyton is very imaginative and creative. She is consistently sketching in her free time and goes above and beyond when having to use her imagination and artistic abilities on class assignments. Keep using your God-given talent and the best version of yourself will always emerge. For T, team players who value the strengths of others, from second grade, Brynlyn Vernon. Brynlyn is a gentle soul who shines with personality and kindness. She is polite and kind to everyone she meets. Brynlyn always offers to help whether it be the teacher or a peer in need. Brynlyn's positive attitude and energy will serve her well in her future endeavors. And also from second grade, Michael McFadden. Whether in the classroom or on the playground, Michael is a team player. He loves to play team games during recess and to do group activities inside the class. Michael plays fair and encourages the strengths of others. I would like Michael on my team, please. And the last letter in faith is H, heartfelt stewards who make a difference in God's world. From second grade, Ileana Nunez. Ileana always has a smile on her face. She's the continual light that shines in the classroom. Ileana is a good friend to all. She is an energetic, loving, and spiritual soul. You can't help but to smile and laugh when Ileana is nearby. Her attitude is infectious. Keep smiling and dancing, Ileana. From second grade, Aubrey Jimenez. Aubrey is a bright girl who can always be called upon for help by her teachers and classmates as well. She's compassionate, supportive, and kind to others. Aubrey's willingness to lend a hand to those in need is admirable. And those are our FAITH School-Wide Learning Expectation Award recipients for this month. Yay! <laughs>
in sign language if you're all watching, it's um, like this. <laughs> the next set of awards we want to give are for perfect attendance. So we have, it's, it's um, some of us, it's, it's really hard to get to school. And so these students we want to honor for their perfect attendance from the day we started in August until that, that fateful day where we had to close school on March 13th, Friday the 13th. Wow. So we want to honor our perfect attendance students or students who didn't miss school in that time period. From kindergarten, Tate Bohe. First grade, Nathaniel Podesta and Jake Leetick. Second grade, Sanjam Brar and Alex Reed. Third grade, Irene Paris, Ariana Hardcastle, Gersi's Tour. From fourth grade, Ramon Castellan and Jacob Gaffison. From fifth grade, Carissa Amador, Darren Lu Nguyen, Ava Perez, Everest Rishwain, Francine Rogers, Tyler Tigan, and Ryan Vitug. And from sixth grade, Sophia Gio. Thank you so much for, for, your, for being at school and for coming every single day. And our last set of awards this morning are for our honor roll and principals list recipients from fifth, sixth, and seventh grade. In order to um, achieve honor roll, you must have at least a 3.4 to a 3.74 grade point average. And for principals list, you must have a 3.75 to a 4.0. So we honor those students here. On honor roll from fifth grade, Gino Lavodi. On principal's list from fifth grade. Fifth grade had a great year. Gianna Almasi, Arthur Carlson, Ella Fernandez, Bruce Hardcastle, Dylan Kearns, Daniel Macapinlac, Nico Olivas, Ava Perez, Gemma Pixley, Haley Reed, Tyler Tigan, Victoria Vu, Caden Wong, Carissa Amador, Emily Bautista, Riley Booth, Owen Carcido, Logan Dunahoo, David Gray, Avery Masters, Michael Scanavino, Everest Rishwain, Eliana Cornejo, Kristen Gapison, Liliana Juarez, Francine Rogers, Joshua Armstrong, and Ryan Vita. Congratulations on a job well done. From sixth grade, the honor roll recipients are Elias Hernandez and Joshua Ramos. And principal's honor roll, Sophia Gio, Archana Goswami, Manuel Villa, Sophia Llanos, Jaris Ravish, Samantha Cavanaugh, Jonah Melanita, Sebastian Zagara, Mason Pastrance, and Luke Gutierrez. Congratulations, sixth graders. And finally, the seventh grade honor roll, Inalyn Orias, Zoe Cazares, Alexandra Grizzle, William Stevens, and Elizabeth Torres. And principals, D'Angelo Macapinlac, Adrian Chong, Isabel Illoretta, Casey Nguyen, Mason Spence, Isaiah Solidum, 
Anne Marie Dixon, Marcus Almasi, Kayla Lou Nguyen, Isabella Zanini, Diesel Valdez, Ilya Martinez, Teresa Gotico, and Sophia Torres. Congratulations, seventh graders. Yay. <laughs> Once again, boys and girls, thank you for a wonderful year. While we closed school on March 13th, we didn't stop learning. We began distance learning or remote learning. And your teachers worked harder than ever before. And you worked harder than ever before. Last week at eighth grade graduation mass, Father Matthew he asked us not to be sad about things that we might be missing out on. So we aren't sad. We, are, we rejoice. We rejoice in the blessings that we do have. And one of the things I was thinking about was, I think we got to go to school in our pajamas, didn't we? <laughs> blessings, blessings. And all of you have been a blessing to us. We wish you a wonderful summer. We will welcome you back next Friday for a drive through. So keep an eye out on your email for that. Our yearbooks are coming next week. So Friday morning, we'll have all the teachers out in the parking lot, and we'll have a drive-through where you can come and honk your horns, and we'll have our final drive-through for the 1920 school year. So again, keep your eye out for that. And students, once more, I thank you, and I, and I honor you for the wonderful work that you did, especially through distance learning. I've sent a video to all of your teachers that they may play for you, I hope, right after Mass. That is a special message from all of your teachers and from Mrs. Wright and myself. So, may God bless you always. In Hawaii, they say aloha oi. Farewell until we meet again. Have a great day, boys and girls. Thank you.